What is the current biggest problem in your life? Pause the video and let me know by commenting below. I remember back then when I was a child, I used to play cricket every afternoon in a field near our house. The biggest concern I had at that time was that I should not get out quickly. And while eating, studying all the time, I just kept thinking about how can I play better. Although now I am laughing, back then it was so serious to me. I am sure you might also have done something in your childhood which back then was so serious to you, but now when you think of that, you begin to laugh at yourself. Now the interesting thing is that just now by commenting below whatever problem you mentioned maybe right now that is very serious to you but after 10 or 20 years when you will look back then the same problem will make you laugh. For example before board exams all the teachers, parents, our friends everyone starts to behave like the exam is super important. By chance if you get low marks your life will be completely destroyed. And many students after getting low marks in board exams commit suicide also. But once we start doing a job then realizing the actual importance of that board exam we literally laugh at ourselves thinking about how worried we were at that time. So why it is utter foolishness to sweat the small stuff and what is the right attitude to deal with these life problems? This is what I am going to share with you today from the book Don't Sweat the Small Stuff and It's All Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. So let us know the solution for this life problem. Smart idea number one, remind yourself life is not an emergency. Nowadays we are so busy that we don't have even time for our family. Giving little things so much importance, we make them an emergency. For example, a housewife conditions her happiness by the degree of perfection she can achieve in keeping his house clean and clutter free. If her husband by mistake put something at the wrong place, she started quarreling with him crazily. She forgets that it is far more important to have a good relationship with her loved ones than keeping his house clean and clutter free. Or many times, if we have 6 tasks in our to-do list and we just manage to complete only 4 tasks, then just because of that two uncompleted tasks, we become sad. We behave as if someone has pointed a gun on our head and we have to complete six out of six tasks, otherwise we will be killed. So we create a deadline and then make it an emergency. After that, we link that as a condition for us to remain happy. So remind yourself again and again, life is not an emergency. One day we all have to die. So why not live peacefully and joyfully? Because no matter how many things you gather, considering life as an emergency, once you die, everything will be back to zero for you. Smart idea number two, stop trying to prove others wrong and yourself right. We all have that tendency. But have you ever thought, what do you actually get by doing so? After you prove the other person wrong, does he or she thank you for that? or you become an enemy and the relationship becomes bitter. You have to understand that just like your ego can't accept it happily that you are wrong, similarly, the other person's ego can never accept it happily that he or she is wrong. So do not argue with others and don't try to make them agree with your point of view. You can just tell them once what you think. After that, if they don't want to accept it, then don't force them to do so. Tell yourself in your mind. You can do whatever you think is right, I will do whatever I think is right. It is useless to argue because neither you nor I will accept being wrong. Smart idea number three, every problem is an opportunity to learn something new. Before the corona pandemic also, all of us knew that before eating something, we must wash our hands. But there were very few of us who used to follow this. But now, the corona problem has taught us how to wash our hands every time before eating something. Or maybe right now, you are working under a very over-demanding boss. In this pandemic, many people have lost their jobs. It is good that you have one. So just because your boss is over-demanding, you cannot resign your job right now. So now you can look at this situation as a problem 
or you can look at it as an opportunity to learn how to work happily even under an over demanding boss so that you can enjoy learning something and improving yourself always remember the more conditions you will add the more happiness will fade away from your life and the less conditions you will add the happier you will become in life i have made an infographic summary of this video that you can download by following the link given below in the description and set it as your mobile wallpaper or you can also take a print out and put it on some walls in your room so that you always remember the smart ideas and if you want to know in more detail about this topic then you can buy the book don't sweat the small stuff by richard carlson by following the link given below in the description wish you all the very best thanks for watching more wisdom more solution better life